What's up guys? So recently I had one of my subscribers, one of you guys, request that I do a video on the STI's DCCD system. A13 Taz recently purchased an STI. Congratulations to you, sir. But he was wondering what the DCCD system is and what's, what it's all about. So if you're already familiar with DCCD in the STIs, then this video is probably gonna be boring and covering a lot of the information that you already know. However, if you're not familiar with that system or you don't have an STI, then this video might be for you. So DCCD stands for Driver Controlled Center Differential. And in layman's terms, what that means is it's a system that allows you to divide the torque between the front and rear wheels. All Subarus are all wheel drive with the exception of the BRZ. However, the only car that has DCCD is the STI. So even though all Subarus are all wheel drive, most of them have a 50-50 power split. Um, I believe most of them are automatic as far as they sense the torque and kind of, um, you know, that's part of the symmetrical all wheel drive that Subaru has. It senses the torque differences and it applies power to the proper wheels. With the STI, the DCCD system allows you, you the driver, to decide where that power is going. So in my center console and in other STI center consoles, there is a switch. You have a toggle switch and you also have this selector switch. So when this toggle switch is switched on, it goes down to this area where you could select independently where the power is going. And it starts at the top, you have a lock function, which will give you a 50-50 power split and it will actually electronically lock the center differential. So that is best for muddy situations or if it's snowy out, any area, maybe gravel will also work, any area where you're gonna have uh, you know, traction issues. The next position down is a 60-40 split, meaning 60% of the power is going to the front wheels, 40% to the rear, and that allows the car to behave more similar to a front wheel drive car. You have this in-between setting, then you have a 50-50 split, however, the center differential is not locked, and you can also go down to a 40-60 split, meaning that 40% of the power is at the front wheels, 60% to the rear, and that is great if you're driving around and you wanna have some fun, maybe kick the back end out a little bit. Um, I have my PS4S tires from Michelin on right now, so my car doesn't kick out at all. They're that good. Um, but you know, if, if it's wet out, if you're in a parking lot or something like that and you wanna kick out the back end a little bit, that would be the setting to use. Um, I also like that in the rain sometimes. Um, even though it behaves uh, more like a rear wheel drive car and the power is biased to the rear, it is more predictable than the um, DCCD, the computer trying to sort out where to send the power. Um, the auto feature is great in Subarus, it really is. Um, but sometimes when it's really bad out, I prefer to personally be deciding where the power is going um, because as an experienced driver, I know exactly how my car is going to handle and I don't want another computer, um, you know, deciding where that torque is going or when to, when to uh, you know, send it to the front or the rear or anything like that. I wanna be in complete control of that. But um, this is a short video of the DCCD system. Uh, there is a ton of reading that you could find on the forums and online, so I definitely recommend reading that. I'm sure there's other videos as well on YouTube. So if you're interested in learning more about this system, I highly recommend you do some additional research and reading. Um, but I just wanted to keep this short and quick. Um, that's the basic rundown of DCCD. It's not anything crazy. It basically just gives you the option or the ability to decide where your torque is going. Um, as I said, it comes standard with the STI. Uh, the WRX can be modified and converted to have DCCD. I don't know how to do that. I know there are a lot of write-ups online, so that is something else you wanna look up online, search the forums, and I'm sure you'll find that if you have a WRX and you want to add DCCD. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it you know, informed you. And if you have any other video requests of anything, just feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to it. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.